This stuff really is kind of a mind trick because you take one bite and you think, oh, noodle. And then you think about it for a second and you're like, oh no, that tastes like scrambled egg. But both are good things. Hey everyone, welcome to my home kitchen. This week's genius recipe is for comforting homemade noodles that are as easy as making scrambled eggs. That also means that they are gluten-free and great for Passover. This recipe comes from Julia Tertian's new cookbook, Simply Julia, and we're gonna get to talk to Julia in a little bit, and she will tell us more about the story behind this recipe and walk us through how to make it. Here are all the things that I love about Julia's golden chicken broth. You can use whatever chicken you have, even if you don't have random parts laying around, you can just buy a pound of chicken wings. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you just throw everything in the pot at once and let it simmer for two hours, and you get to throw in the onion skins, so it has a really nice golden color, and it's just one less thing that you have to do. So I'm just going to chop this very roughly. Woo! While I finish chopping this onion, it's a good time to check in with Julia to hear more about this recipe, and she can walk us through making this stock. These egg noodles were something that my maternal grandmother used to make during Passover, um, when she wouldn't make things like regular noodles that use leavening. And this was not something I ate growing up, but something I heard a lot about. And when my wife, Grace, was diagnosed as an adult with type 1 diabetes, at the beginning of her diagnosis, it was really helpful for her if she was eating like lower carb versions of her favorite foods. And I, as her wife, and her wife who also loves to cook, wanted to just try and make as many of those things as possible. So I remembered these egg noodles, and I started making them, and we've continued to enjoy them. I make them all the time. And this recipe to me is just this amazing thing that kind of brings all these really important women in my life together. So I really value it. I'm very happy to share it. To make the broth, you just put a pound of basically whatever you have, chicken backs or wings or anything in a pot with a bunch of water and an onion that you chop up. No need to peel it. The onion skin will give the broth lots of flavor and color and some salt and pepper, and you just simmer it for a couple hours, and then you strain it. That is how you make the broth. Really, really simple, and time just does it for you. Here's my favorite part about this recipe, the very genius thing where you make fresh noodles out of nothing more than eggs and a little bit of salt. So, I'm just going to crack four eggs. Chicken eggs? Chicken eggs again. Pretty right? I had never seen this technique before, but I've since learned that it is something that is used in cultures across the world. And if you've seen it before, I would really love to hear about it in the comments. I'm sure Julia would love to hear about it in the comments too. And I figured that if I hadn't seen it before, then I really, I couldn't be alone. And I thought more people needed to know about it because it is so simple and so versatile and genius. To make the noodles, you just crack a bunch of eggs into a bowl, season them with a little salt, whisk them together really, really well, and then you're gonna spray a nonstick pan with cooking spray. A nonstick pan is pretty crucial for this recipe, otherwise this is gonna be really difficult to make and it doesn't need to be. Pour some of the beaten egg into the pan, just enough to coat the bottom. You can pick up the pan by the handle, sort of swirl it around to coat it. If there's extra egg in the pan, just pour it back into the bowl, no big deal. And then when the egg is just set, you know, when it's not like wet anymore, you just peel this omelet. It'll come off easily. You sort of peel it off the pan and just stack it on a plate until you've used up all your egg. There's no right or wrong amount of these to make. It's just whatever size pan you have. So once you've used up all the egg, you have your stack of like paper thin omelets. You roll them all up as if you were rolling up a bunch of yoga mats piled on top of each other or a cigar or whatever. You roll them up and then you just, with your knife, cut them crosswise like into ribbons. So you're just cutting them across and these really thin omelets will end up almost like you're making like fettuccine or something. They will be noodles and that is it. Just eggs and salt. And it really gives you a noodle-like experience of slurping it up through a soup, of like twirling it through a pasta, like <laughs> twirling it through a sauce like you do with pasta. It just happens to not be made with anything but eggs and salt. This is, I could do this all day. <laughs> so you just make these noodles and then you cover them with your broth. Very simple, as many as you want. Here is that golden broth.
this is just the very, very simple comforting version, but she also has all these different ideas for riffing in Simply Julia. You could flavor the broth differently. You could make a pho inspired broth. You could make a Mexican inspired broth. You could add greens in at the end of cooking or poach some chicken in it as it's going so that you have more substantial things besides just the noodles. Last night, we had some leftover pasta that wasn't enough to feed both of us. It was a gnocchi dish. So I had these noodles and I just crisped up the gnocchi in the pan and then stirred these in at the last minute. So the noodles were egg and the sauce was made of noodles. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is not an official recommendation to do something like that, but this is just to say that you can make these noodles and thread them into all kinds of different stuff, including grabbing whatever leftovers are in your fridge that aren't enough to feed however many people you're trying to feed to make there be more substance in the dish and comfort and eggs. <laughs> So comforting. The broth is so rich. The eggs are so delicate and very noodle-like. Let me know how you would riff on this in the comments. If you want more healthy, simple comfort foods like this, definitely pick up Julia's new book, Simply Julia. And if you want to hear more about why she wanted to make this book, it's all in the Genius Recipe Tapes podcast, anywhere you get your podcasts. Thank you so much, and we will see you in two weeks. <laughs> Just to prove you can slurp them. <laughs>